what's good what's good this is Catrice and I am preparing to do a video on how I make these ornaments I do several different types of ornament but people have been asking how I accomplish these beauties here's another one so this part of the video is just me showing you a few that I've already done. This one needs a face. <laughs> and then some of the things that I use to make them. Um, I am also going to put in the description the list of things that you can use. Um, there are some other people that use different things they do them a, a little different. I'm gonna show you the different ways that I do them and the ornaments that I use. Okay, for starters, these are, I guess, your typical regular size ornament balls. You can hear this. I use the glass balls. I use the glass balls because the way that I get the hair to stay on the ball is using hot glue. So that's one of the things you're gonna need. You, um, I did see another girl that does hers. She told some people that they can go to Dollar Tree and get the balls from Dollar Tree. Well, this is a Dollar Tree ball. They're bigger, they do have some smaller ones. And they're plastic. So keep in mind, if you're gonna use hot glue, that this is plastic. So it may still work, but it also may put a dent in your ball because it is high glue. So again, I'm not saying that using plastic won't work, but I use glass. Now the problem with glass is people break them. Sometimes they break easier. Uh, you just gotta be careful. So I sent a little, uh, not, a, not necessarily a disclaimer, but a way to care for your ornaments when I uh, when I send them out okay so I use glass balls you can use plastic I may even try one with plastic to see I'm not sure if I want to do such a big one but I do have some big old bigger pom-poms but I don't usually do these this big like I said I do a few different types of ornaments so the way I do mine you need the ornament I use yarn for the hair. You need a, a cutting machine because you want to go and get your, your eyes and you, you want to get your mouth. This is HTV. I'm sorry, not heat press vinyl. Oracle 651 vinyl. I have a silhouette. And then whatever string or whatever you're going to use to hang the ornament from the tree. If it's going to hang from a tree or however you, you, you're displaying it. So you're going to need that. For the coloring of the ornament, I use polycrylic. And what I do is take some from here, put it in a squeeze bottle, squeeze it into my ornament, let it swirl around a little bit, pour out the excess, and then drop in my glitter. So, backtracking. You need the ornament. You know what? We're not even going to go through the process of how I do it. We're just going to talk about the things you're going to need. So you're going to need the ornament. If you're planning to use yarn for the hair, you need to get yarn. You're going to need bows. You're going to need the color, the color glitter of your choice. This is a chocolate. This is a copper called topaz. And this is this I got from Mr. Nola's glitter. It's called Chocolate City. I thought it was pretty. So I'm gonna try that this year. And then if you don't want to use glitter and you want to use paint, this is Espresso 50 Cent Walmart. With the paint, you do not need to use polycrylic. You can just put the paint in your ornament swirl it around let it get the color all over the place turn it upside down let the excess paint drip out excuse me let it dry come back to it and do what you need to do the other things you'll need if you don't want to use yarn you think yarn 
might be too much for you to do, you can buy these little pom-poms, which come from Walmart, uh, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. So it'll just be a puff ball sitting there as opposed to dealing with yarn. Let me tell you about this yarn. I like the yarn look, especially if I want to do something like that, like have it with a little two-tone hair. I think that's adorable. This is the process. This is like making pom-poms, but very, very small. So you need to watch a YouTube video on how to make pom-poms. I may put one up to show you how I do it and how I get them this small and this size for their little heads. That's a thing. I do not have pictures of the other ornaments that I did. I don't know what happened to them, but I do have some that have longer hair. I'll put a picture up so you can see that. Um, and some with the bow. I was gonna do one with the mohawk. I'm, I'm just crazy like that, y'all, so forgive me. So anyway, yeah, you're gonna need some bows. You can get these at Walmart, and all that is is just an accessory that I stick in the front. This is a smaller pom-pom. And these are flowers. If you don't want to use bows and you want to do like a flower headband across the very front of the, the ornament head. And I have those in two different types. You can use... I have to go outside. Oh, here we go. You can use these bows and put one in the front of her head. I've seen some people put Christmas hats in the center of it where the where this this is put the hat right on top of there um you can just get real creative with how you want to make these here's some more pretty flowers that can go right across the head so we'll get we'll get to that but again these are just some things that you'll need these i use these on my ornaments as well but not this type i'm gonna get uh one of my jars to show you to show you i'm sorry the type of ornament that i use with these it's it's pretty much this the round ones and then i use the square ones which i can't find i had to order those and they haven't come in yet but what i make are uh, remembrance ornaments and i'm gonna show you what that looks like so like i said this is a remembrance jar. So last Christmas, and these are all year round to be honest with you, you don't have to wait till Christmas to do these. Last year, when I ran out of ornaments, I started doing these jars. And it's just a picture, this is my brother, picture of your loved one in there with the design. I use feathers inside mine, and I put an angel wing on the back and a ribbon on top. I sell these for $10. I sold them for $10 last year. No, I sold this one for 10, this one for 12, or maybe 15, depending on the case I put it in. So 10 and 15. And this is just a round version of that. So remember, I told you I do ornaments. This would entail be this. Same, this is glass. My ornaments are typically glass. This is plastic, so I was gonna try it with plastic this year. And then this just sits. And I put the angel wing. It'll be an angel wing or a cross on the back. And that's why I have these and these. And for the feathers. So I will do a video on how I accomplish these as well. And how I get the corks to stay down and how I make the bows. But these are my jars. Jars, I do the ornaments the same way. Um, another thing you're going to need is a sheet of paper. Because when you're working with glitter, you're going to have an excess. We don't waste product around here. So you want to work over some paper or something that you can fold and pour that excess glitter right back into your container. Because again, we don't waste product. So those are the things that you're going to need in order to do these. This is another ornament that I plan to make. These are my friendship ornaments. So I'm going to show you guys how and what I do with these and what hangs off and how you present it to your friend to be a part of their Christmas tree. Um, and that's that. So 
I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching and I will return to show you how I do some of these things. So they may be separate videos. Like this video, there'll be a video for this one since it's a different type. We're going to spend a lot of time on this one and then I'll do a video on these. So until later, deuces. Ah, uh, okay, guys. I can see y'all. I can see y'all. <laughs> Until later. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. See you in the next one. And that is that. Okay, and that is that. I'll see you in the next video.